What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host White Wolf NLD and today we're starting a new line of Hitman. The, yesterday we finished Hitman 2, today we're gonna start off with Hitman 3, which is Hitman Contracts, one of my all-time favorites. So without further ado, let's dive right in it. released, the slide moves forward, lifting a new cartridge into the chamber. The gun is now loaded. Pulling the trigger now releases the hammer, which drives the firing pin forward until it strikes and ignites the propellant in the cartridge. This results in a rapid expansion of gas within the chamber, which forces the bullet forward and ejects its casing. This energy also produces a brief muzzle flash and a sharp actually recognized me and looked me in my eyes and he expected me as if So there you have it. Of course we're gonna start off with a new game and as you're probably used to by now it's gonna be a professional silent assassin walkthrough. And I'm gonna start off with a completely clean slate, fresh new clean game so you guys can see everything that I unlock. And now here comes another next little cutscene so I'll talk to you all when the gameplay starts. Okay, so here we go. The first thing you want to do is get to the doctor, get this car key, then we can leave this room. This is a relatively easy mission. You can use this uh, very well for collecting weapons. As you can see me do now, I'm walking backwards to get the pistol, 
Just making sure we got everything in the safe house that we are probably gonna need later on. <coughs> There's also a couple of syringes that you can, are gonna get really soon. First we're gonna meet the human bird man. And there you have him. And as you can see this whole facility is loaded with uh, clones. The doctor that just got killed in the cutscene is uh, actually the one that made 47 and all the other clones. That's why he referred to him as son. Yeah, here are five syringes. You should definitely pick those up for your stealth playthrough. You're really gonna need them later on. There's a couple of other stuff in this map, but I'm gonna do the quick way and... Yeah, if you want to get more of the unlockables, you should definitely walk around and just see everything there is to explore. Since I'm going to go for a stealth walkthrough, there's a lot of stuff here that I'm not going to need, so therefore I'm not going anywhere near it. And right about now, the police is entering the building, which means we're going to use a disguise and also pick up the next item that we can use. First, you want to go to the second floor. And this guy has a kitchen knife too, so you can definitely should pick that up. Take his clothes. And then we're going back to the first floor, but do not leave the elevator yet. This guy has a, a taser or stun gun, whatever you want to call it. And he will attack you if you walk out outside of this elevator, since you're wearing the disguise of a lunatic now from the asylum. Well, if you wait a little bit, you will see that the SWAT teams are going to enter the building and shoot the doctor. What I usually like to do is wait until all the SWAT officers have passed the elevator, so I'm sure I'm not in the line of fire. And other than that, we can basically walk towards the exit already. Just, just a little technique left to do, and then it's already mission completed. There's the SWAT officers. Now wait, wait till they are all gone. Be sure you have put all your weapons away. And now we can move up. Well, these officers are gonna tell you that you have to go into the left. What you want to do here is wait for the guard that comes down the stairs. And you want to wait till he is right up there again. Moves out of the frame and then you can start going up. So yeah, now he's down with us. We're going to wait till he heads up again. There he goes. Now in this cabinet here, there's a sniper rifle which you should definitely pick up and uh, take with you to your safe house. You actually want to do this rather quick since the guard is come, uh, gonna come out. So you're gonna sit in the corner right here, wait for the guard to come out. It shouldn't take too long. There he is. Now wait till he's out of hearing uh, range. Right about now. Sneak into the room. And then we're gonna go outside towards the balcony. And you will see a guard walking around the car here below here. And you wanna wait till he is near the hood of the car. And then start going down this ladder. If you go any earlier, he will spot you and then your silent assassin ranking will be gone. If you go like this, on this timing you will stay in his blind side. Make your way to the car. And a prompt should pop up. There you have it, escape. And that's it. And we're immediately starting off with a nice silent assassin rating. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is definitely going to be one of the more fun hitmans to do a playthrough of. There is so much great possibilities in these missions and the movement is a lot more flexible than in Hitman 2. So I'm going to enjoy this a, a lot. I hope to see you guys for the next episode and as always, keep it, uh, keep it safe, keep it cool and keep it real.